the 1950s, many Americans have chosen to escape the congestion and fast pace of city life and move to the suburbs. People have made this move even though it has often meant long commutes to their jobs in the city. And the affordability of housing outside of the city and the appeal of green lawns, trees, and open spaces have made suburban living a mainstay of American culture. Quite the opposite is true in Egypt. The Egyptian government is trying to convince some of the 16 million people in and around Cairo to move to the suburbs. Well, very few are interested, even if these planned communities are less crowded. Even the promise of plentiful jobs, cheap housing, and open spaces has convinced very few of Cairo's residents to relocate. Why? As CNN reports, much of the reason rests in the closeness of the Egyptian family. It's the crack of dawn in the Hogni household, and Aziza is up and making breakfast for her oldest son. 25-year-old Khaled lives with his parents and sisters in a popular Cairo neighborhood. He must rise at 6 a.m. to commute an hour and a half to his job at a textile factory far from the capital city. I looked for work here, but the job opportunities are limited, and I found one at the 10th of Ramadan City. There are more opportunities there. Khaled and his fellow commuters represent a massive planning project gone wrong. Their jobs are in Tenth of Ramadan, a model community in the desert 50 kilometers outside of Cairo. Egypt has poured $200 million into the new city. The plan was for people to move to Tenth of Ramadan from overpopulated Cairo lured by cheap apartments, plentiful jobs, and generous tax breaks. The idea was to use the desert to build housing and spread out the population rather than have them densely packed into one place. But it hasn't really worked. Young people like Khaled come for the jobs but refuse to actually move to 10th of Ramadan. The city is designed to hold a half a million people but only 60,000 live here. It looks like a ghost town. An hour away and Cairo is teeming with humanity. Eight million people crammed into the city center, another eight million in the suburbs. The cost of apartments has skyrocketed and space is a luxury. Sanitation facilities are overtaxed in some neighborhoods as are schools and hospitals, yet people cannot be enticed to move away. What tenth of Ramadan planners fail to take into account are Egypt's strong family ties. Most people live with their parents until they get married, and even afterwards don't like to stray very far from the nest. Which is why Khaled would rather commute long distances and be with his family. Well, uh, come on. It's better, perhaps, to stay there near his job, but the Egyptian family likes to stay together. As night falls, the family gathers to watch their favorite television program. The theme of tonight's show is about how difficult it is to find an apartment in the city. Gail Young, CNN, Cairo. As birth rates continue to climb and the city grows, more and more of Cairo's residents will be faced with inadequate housing and services. But how do you fix the problem? There are no simple answers, but one thing is certain, future plans to reduce Cairo's overcrowding will have to take into account the strong family ties that are such an important part of Egyptian culture.